Hi there. Welcome to Gnostic Vlog 28. My confessio for the week. Um, I do struggle with certain things, um, hence the inverted pentagram here, and struggle being the, <coughs> the inverted spirit. Um, I struggle with being methodical, logical, rational, and focused or attentive. I always have done. And um, for example, if I have a list, I start in the middle and work downwards. Uh, and then I sort of start at the top and work downwards and then start in another place and work upwards. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to what I do. Um, um, I'm pretty irrational uh, sometimes, uh, prone to outbursts of total irrationality when I completely lose the plot altogether. And um, I do find it hard to be focused, for example, um, you know, I still uh, haven't gotten round to making my playlists on my, on my, <clears throat> my video channel. Um, and I, I'm now distracted, or, uh, pleasantly distracted, uh, admittedly, but distracted by, um, by a series I'm doing on, uh, on the Kabbalah and uh, my 10 affirmational words and uh, so that's sort of but i'm sort of dotting about going from one sephirot to another not doing from one to ten perhaps like i should be doing uh, but the idea of the playlist then <clears throat> will be to actually put everything in order uh, but order is something i struggle with totally in my mind i have a disordered mind <laughs> uh, deranged mind sometimes as well so um you know, that's, <clears throat> that's the struggle, and um, I think with all struggles, with limitations <clears throat> on one's personality or situation or with other people uh, limiting one in certain ways, um, basically it's necessary uh, to try your very best to, uh, to overcome uh, limitations. Um, uh, people with dyslexia, for example, have to work, you know, three times harder than anybody else uh, because they have to cope with their dyslexia as well. Um, as, as coping with, you know, cognitive and uh, other factors uh, that, that prevent uh, learning from being an easy process. Um, and I met people at college, you know, who, who, who got good degrees, uh, who were dyslexic, um, uh, and perhaps also had attention deficit disorder when they were kids as well. Um, so a lot of things, um, you know, limitations are there to be overcome. Um, and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, as they say, um, <laughs> which, which I think is a moot point. But anyway, um, certainly limitations, uh, but so, certain limitations can't be changed. Um, and you have to work with your limitations, uh, find workarounds if you can, uh, but literally accept what you can't change about yourself in terms of limitation. Uh, and the third thing, you also need to recognise, um, you know, that illogicality and non-methodic, non-methodical uh, ways of working are limitations. Uh, you know, I think nowadays um, there is a tendency to to push the goalposts, uh, to use a football analogy, uh, so far uh, apart that everybody gets to score a goal. Um, and, you know, you're not really allowed to call something a limitation. Um, I mean, at the very be at very least, you'll have to call it an opportunity, uh, which I suppose is fair enough. Uh, but I also think there's a lot of uh, goalpost moving um, so that things get easier and easier uh, and, and standards and, uh, go down and down and down, um, which I know is an old fuddy-duddy way of looking at the world. Uh, but I honestly believe that, <clears throat> you know, that certain things, uh, you know, are, are not easy to attain. Um, and one of the one of the limitations, I think, is distraction. Um, you know, for example, I used to be a, a, a surfer, smurfer, uh, when in the early days, the internet, and just surf around the place and 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 have a butterfly mind, very little attentiveness or concentration, uh, which has got worse. But I, I don't. I, I sometimes blame it on social media and the internet, but I actually think I always had that problem before. It's just the social media and the internet generally have made um, the limitations uh, on my concentration worse. <laughs> um, but they were always there, really. So I can't really blame um, social media for making me a butterfly 
making me into a butterfly mind person because I always was. Um, uh, and that's the truth of it, really. Before the internet uh, came along, I couldn't concentrate and, and was distracted by everything. Distraction is a limitation uh, and it can be dysfunctional. It can be a problem. It can be frustrating even. Um, and uh, I think one of the things about distraction is that you're looking for the transcendental uh, which is beyond all distraction um, and you're not finding it because you're so distracted by everything around you uh, and inside you um, and on the psychic level and on various etheric levels which, which represent the worlds of the Demiurge uh, which represent uh, various levels of distraction uh, that prevent you uh, from going through that small narrow gap um, in the fence that will take you to a transcendental uh, place um, and it's interesting, you know, that, that Jesus uh, said, you know, that you come, you come not by the Father except by me. Um, so I, I am the only means of your salvation. And um, I think it, in a way, uh, you know, sort of not all paths do lead up the mountain. Some of them lead to dead ends, some of them lead to dangerous ravines, uh, and some of them lead, lead um, to uh, briar thickets. Uh, which will catch you up and not let you go, and etc. Um, and you know, one thinks of, of Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, really. Uh, and there's so many just temptations and distractions, and temptation really is another word for distraction, um, and, and a sort of dumbing down of things, uh, and also a stupefying uh, effect of some other activities and, and situations and people have a stupefying effect on one. Uh, and so the gap is narrow um, and you need a guide and I suppose Jesus is really saying I am the only guide that can lead you through um, or the, this briar patch of, distraction, of distractions and temptations um, but it's also referring of course in a technical sense to grace um, and, and grace comes, uh, grace is a sort of power if you like or a uh, helping hand uh, that, that uh, that actually propels you onwards, um, even though there were distractions that would push you sideways and from pillar to post. Uh, grace pushes you ever onwards uh, to attainment of liberation. Um, and, and so therefore you have to put your trust and your love uh, in, 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 the, in the bona fide guides uh, that, will, that will push you forward uh, in your spiritual journey rather than distract you from it. Um, and this is the classical way of looking at things, really. Um, and I know the other way, of course, is to say, you know, it's all good. Um, and, uh, you know, we get to the ninth gate by a long and circuitous route, uh, as it says in the nine gates. Um, uh, and we brave the vicissitudes of life and we fear not uh, fire, uh, fire or, 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 or loop fit fire or noose, uh, etc, etc. Uh, we play the greatest game and win, um, etc. There's nine, there's nine different steps uh, that w would appear to be distractions, but they, 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 you know, the pilgrim uh, of the Ninth Gate is not distracted uh, by any of the things that they see, hear, smell, feel uh, or experience generally. Um, and so therefore uh, the struggle uh, is part of it, uh, all right, um, but you need grace in order for you to, um, uh, in order for you to uh, succeed in that struggle because you can't do it alone, you see. Um, and you're not alone uh, in, in struggling uh, against distraction, uh, against irrationality, and illogicality, um, against uh, dispersion uh, and against a non-methodical mind. So, you know, uh, non, you know, you 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 um, distracted from analysing the problem, uh, or asking the right questions, um, and therefore you are um, you need grace. You need help uh, in order to attain. Um, on the other hand, um, when you have attained, uh, ironically enough, you go to a place which is beyond duality and therefore beyond struggle. Uh, uh, and therefore, you 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 are sort of um, <laughs> you are a baby floating by, counting its toes, as the song says. You 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 know you go beyond um, the necessity for logical, rational, methodical, uh, and focused thinking, 
uh, you, you, you know, you go to a place where there is no more struggle um, and you are sort of, you know, playing No Man's Sky on creative mode and, <laughs> you know, you're just floating through space and going from one planet and solar system to another uh, and, and partying on, you know, it's a great, it's a great time. And people will say, uh, well, you know, you need struggle in order to be. Uh, but in the transcendental realm, you, you cease to be, uh, so there's no need for struggle. Um, so ultimately, um, of course, you know, when grace has done its job and you have attained, uh, then there's no more need for grace. Uh, and so you don't have a, a situation of grace or non-grace, uh, which is a dualistic situation which we find uh, in the lower worlds. Um, you, you, you go beyond um, grace itself. Um, and you go beyond uh, religious law, for example, or, or religious moral injunction. Uh, you know, you, you go you go to a place where there are no consequences uh, to being non-methodical and illogical and irrational, for example. Um, you know, I mean, of course, these are no, no longer labels which can be used because they have no sense uh, in, in a non-dualistic universe. So, um, but we're not there yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we can find ourselves being, as I say, knocked from pillar to post, uh, which is an odd expression, really. Um, you know, it's like the pillars of, of, of Kabbalah um, and the posts could be the paths, uh, the 22 paths, which are easy, which are very easy to get lost on. Um, so we're not from the, from the three pillars, severity and, and mercy and, and the middle pillar. Um, and we're also knocked around the 22 paths of the Kabbalistic tree of life. Um, and we can find ourselves going down rabbit holes which, which, which have no, well, which have an end. Uh, we can lose ourselves, as Dumbledore says uh, to the contestants of, of, the, uh, of the chalice of, of the Goblet of Fire. Um, in A.J. Rawlings' um, book and film of Harry Potter, uh, you go into this maze and you can lose yourself, uh, which is the worst thing that you can lose. Um, and, uh, and indeed, uh, some of the uh, people that enter the maze do lose themselves and become strange, uh, monstrous creatures uh, that are uh, hell-bent on their own self-preservation um with with utter disregard for anybody else um which is also a, a situation uh, or a condition that lies in wait for us as well um so the struggle uh the inverted pentagram you know uh you you uh your these things weigh down upon you uh the way that the elements of the world instead of going flowing with you they flow against you um, and, and the struggle uh, is, 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 a, is keenly felt uh, as the elements of the world try to take back what they have given, uh, which is life. They've given you life, uh, but now they're all trying to take it back, of course, uh, because we, you know, we're on borrowed energy, borrowed magics, uh, rather than magic that comes from an eternal transcendental source, uh, which is why magic is tricky, because it's always borrowed. Uh, and you have to give it back, just as, just as you do have to life and everything to do with life and successes and, and, and attainments and, uh, and qualifications and all experiences, you have to give them back. Um, so, uh, you know, there is a small gap uh, in the fence uh, which, which leads to the transcendental realm. Um, and, uh, you know, but perhaps there is redemption because in the midst of our struggle uh, there is a psychopomp, there is a, a, a teacher, there is a, a, a guide, uh, there is somebody who can take your hand from time to time, um, not hand feeding you exactly, uh, but from time to time uh, they can give you a boost, they can give you a level up, they can give you a buff. <laughs> to use to use the uh, gamers uh, parlance, um, and you can buff and rebuff uh, and level up, um, you know, and get a boost uh, to your stats. <laughs> God, um, yeah, you can tell I play games. I don't play games so much as watch them now. So, <laughs> but I'm still part of all that culture. Uh, so uh, you know. My confession is that I struggle, 
um, and I fall down uh, and sometimes I don't reach for the help that is there, the helping hand is rejected often uh, because I want to do it on my own uh, in a stubborn sort of way, a rebellious sort of way one might add um, and uh, th th you know this, this, is, uh, this is no way to go on um, but um, you know I find that diagrams help me so that's why I put everything in diagrammatic form, uh, because if I can do flow charts and idea trees, um, uh, then I become more methodical and more focused and more rational, and more logical in my thinking. Um, and uh, interestingly enough, um, I actually did a, a test recently about this left and right hand, right brain. Uh, you've got to look at a photograph and, and you, you either you see combinations of colours and according to whether you're left left brain or right brain orientated you see different colours. Uh, well I saw all the different all the colours that were available. Uh, so that technically means that I use both sides of my brain equally, um, left and right, uh, which uh, you know, which either goes to show oh wow. Uh, or it goes to show how stupid the psychological test actually is. Uh, it actually doesn't test anything. Um, and I don't really think there's a left or right hand side of the brain at all. I think that's all complete uh, BS actually, to be, be perfectly honest with you. Um, my idea, I don't think there's halves of the brain. Um, I think there are parts of the cortex and uh, various parts of, of the centres of, of the brain uh, which do various things uh, and, and emphasise and and according to genetics, um, people um, have a greater tendency to rely on certain parts of the brain and not others, for example. Um, but I mean, the, the, obviously, the complexity, the nuance of relationship between uh, neurology and gen genetics is is so is so in complex. Um, that that he, it's very difficult to unravel the, the relationship. So, uh, but I don't think simplifying it to the extent of left and right brain activity has got is it neither here nor there. To be perfectly honest, but um, one day I'm going to ask a, 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 a psychologist or psychiatrist or neuropsychiatrist about this because um, I, I'm very very interested in this idea, nonetheless. Um, but I just think it's simplifying things to such a simplistic level that it doesn't make any sense, really. Um, at least that's what I think, according to my understanding of neurology anyway. Uh, but who knows, I'm probably out of date. I'm nearly 60, so it was years, years ago I studied these things. So, so hey, I'm probably not a chilled out sort of person on, on this topic at all, really. Um, anyway, uh, so that's my uh, vlog entry um, and uh, I can't believe it's been 28 weeks uh, it feels like 28 years uh, with the lockdown and the COVID-19 crisis um, it seems to me uh, and this is my final point that time itself seems to have slowed down in incredibly uh, since the March middle of March when the crisis first hit uh, the world it seems to me that time has almost stopped, ground to halt, and 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 I was living a pretty timeless life before March, uh, but but I can see that time has almost stopped completely, and for some people, um, everything is completely badjaxed because everything was time was sort of uh, measured by work uh, and pleasure and and time off, uh, and and work time uh, and travel time, um, and people haven't had any of these divisions of time or activity. Um, so they've been completely and utterly thrown. I mean, where are they in life? Um, you know, they're not working, they're not taking time off, they're not going to the pub or the club or the, or the bar, um, they're not going to the baseball game. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> what does it mean? Um, and I think this is a good opportunity, though, uh, to become, to look for the answer within uh, and to look for beingness uh, rather than doingness, um, because the doingness is is limited now, um, even in, even in the USA. Uh, whereas the be is a good opportunity uh, to uh, to be rather than to do. Uh, so perhaps when things get limit limited uh, in, in any way, um, it really is an opportunity to to take a different path in life altogether. 
Um, so perhaps, you know, we shouldn't really say that limitation uh, is positive or negative, uh, and we shouldn't say struggle is either positive or negative either. It just is what it is, and, and that's all you can say about these lower worlds.